Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Thursday, March the 24th. It's year one, it's the second week in Lent, and it's week four of the Psalm Cycle. The scripture in this service, Psalm 74, and John chapter 5, verse 19 to 29. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Do not let the oppressed return disappointed. Let the poor and the needy bless your name. Psalm 74 Why, O oh God, have you cast us off forever? Why blaze with anger at the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people whom you chose long ago, the tribe you redeemed to be your own possession, the mountain of Zion where you made your dwelling. Turn your steps to these places that are utterly ruined. The enemy has laid waste the whole of the sanctuary. Your foes have made uproar in your house of prayer. They have set up their emblems, their foreign emblems, high above the entrance to the sanctuary. Their axes have battered the wood of its doors. They have struck together with hatchet and pickaxe. O oh God, they have set your sanctuary on fire. They have raised and profaned the place where you dwell. They said in their hearts, Let us utterly crush them. Let us burn every shrine of God in the land. There is no sign from God, nor have we a prophet. We have no one to tell us how long it will last. How long, O oh God, is the enemy to scoff? Is the foe to insult your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, and why do you keep your right hand hidden? Yet you are our king from time past, the giver of help through all the land. It was you who divided the sea by your might, who shattered the heads of the monsters of the sea. It was you who crushed Leviathan's heads and gave him as food, to the untamed beast. It was you who opened springs and torrents. It was you who dried up ever-flowing rivers. Yours is the day and yours is the night. It was you who appointed the light and the sun. It was you who fixed the bounds of the earth, who made both summer and winter. Remember this and see the enemy scoff. A senseless people insult your name. Do not give Israel your dove to the hawk nor forget the life of your poor ones forever. Remember your covenant. Every cave in the land is a place where violence makes it home. Do not let the oppressed return disappointed. Let the poor and the needy bless your name. Rise, O God, defend your cause. Remember how the senseless revile you all the day. Do not forget the clamor of your foes, the daily increasing uproar of your foes. Glory to you, source of all be, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Do not let the oppressed return disappointed. Let the poor and the needy bless your name. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter nineteen, or chapter five, beginning at verse nineteen. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, the Son can do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. The Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you will be astonished. Indeed, just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whomever he wishes. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgments to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Anyone who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Very truly I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment but has passed from death to life. Very truly I tell you, the hour is coming, and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, 
so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear, hear his voice and will come out. And those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be good, holy, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. That there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Francis and St. Clair, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you manifest in your servants the sign of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us, through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.